In this next video, we're going to create a clustered column chart that's going to show our sales for our products for the months of January, February, and March. We're going to begin by highlighting this area right here. So it's January, February, and March. Notice how I am not highlighting the totals. Click on insert, click the down arrow here, we want to click on a 2D clustered column chart. We have our chart showing. Right now the legend has our months and along the X axis are our various products. We'd really would want to switch that and the easiest way of putting our months on the x-axis is by coming up here and clicking on switch rows and columns left click on it and by clicking on switch row and columns we can now see that our months are along the x-axis in our various products are now part of our legend. To change the name of the title, you would click on it, come up here in the box, and we could rename it January through March. product sales. We have our chart. In order to make it bigger or smaller, we come to the corners. We have a two-way arrow. Hold down our left mouse. We can make it a little bit smaller. To move it, you have your cross. Hold down the left mouse and drag and drop it here. Next, what we're go going to do is we're going to insert some spark lines. And what a spark line is, a spark line is a chart that's created within a cell. Once again, it's a chart created within a cell. So the first step is to highlight the area where the spark lines are going to appear. So we've highlighted 04 to 08. That's where the spark lines are going to appear. Click on the insert button. Next, come over to the right where we have spark lines. We have lines and columns, win slash loss, but we're going to select column spark lines. We end up getting a dialog box. And you can see that this area here has already been filled out by us highlighting over here, which is where the spark lines are going to appear. The next box that we have to fill in, the data range, that's the area that the spark lines are based on. So I'm going to move this box down a little bit, scroll over, and I'm going to highlight just this area here. And once again, notice I did not highlight the total row. So what we've highlighted is the area B4 to D8, and we're going to click OK. When we come over to our spark lines, they're now appearing. We have the ability to select high points and low points. So I'm going to initially select a high point. Then to change the color for that high point, I come over here to marker color. My high point. And I'm going to come down and click on yellow. Once again, 
all of my points were the same values. That's why it's showing the way that it is. To do low point, you would just click over here again. Come over to marker color or marker color. Go to low point and choose whatever that color might be. Thank you.